Deadpool is the Marvel spin-off of the X-Men series which was distributed by 20th Century Fox and was released in February 2016. Basically the story is you have Wade Wilson who gets diagnosed by cancer. However, someone says that he can get a cure for his cancer, but he actually doesn't. Instead, it leads him to a much more worse aspect, which leads him into becoming a superhero under the name of Deadpool. And he is an asshole. Let's count him down. However, Colossus and Negasonic team up with Deadpool. And they have to try to save everyone from the villain who caused them to cancer to become Deadpool to save his wife. Guys, I have to admit, um, I was pretty late to this movie. I actually just went in out of curiosity. I'm not actually in for this movie because of Deadpool 2. So I went in just expecting enjoyable. What did I get? It was good. It was pretty good. I like the story. I like how it balances comedy and action. What I know is that the Deadpool comics had a mixture of rudeness that is a lot more dirty than the other Marvel comics like, say, Spider-Man or Iron Man. And this one did a pretty good job doing it. The action is absolutely fantastic. The sword fight is absolutely awesome. It is one of the best action sequences I've ever seen in live action. On to the characters. Now, the villain, I think, is a really weak ca character. He's really just there as a villain and honestly he's just an asshole just hates Deadpool and gives him a worse life to deal with. I mean yeah it's assholic but come on he could have gotten at least a bit more depth to him. On to the other characters Wade Wilson I think is a very good character. Ryan Wells does a fantastic job as Deadpool. He bring brought this character to life. Now I don't know about much about Deadpool but this was really really good. And Wade Wilson ha had a good mixture of being nice guy, worried about his life, and also being a funny, sarcastic asshole. Onto his girlfriend, and, well, his wife. I really thought she was just there, and kind of the stamsels in distress. Now, she is pretty good, because she actually is worried about her husband getting diagnosed with cancer. Which, yeah, obviously, you'd be worried about if you, for someone you love so much, if they had something like cancer or any type of disease. Onto Colossus and Negasonic. Really, I feel like, now, I don't know if Negasonic is in the X-Men films. I haven't seen those in years, and I haven't seen the new ones. As for Colossus, I'm pretty sure he is in those movies. I feel like they're just there to connect this movie with the X-Men universe, and... Ah, they're there just to help Deadpool, like, but it, it kind of reminds me of Spider-Man and Iron Man and Homecoming, but this is, like, it's cool to see them dead team up, but I think it would have been better if it was just Deadpool's own movie. In fact, the whole movie is pretty much focused on Wade Wilson. And before I say this, I don't think this movie is fantastic. Now, I thought it was pretty good. I don't think it's as great as everyone else says it is. My only problem, my real gripe with the film is that I felt like it was a little rushed for a Marvel movie and sometimes it would feel a little short in places. Also, two scenes I actually did manage to go, oh god, that's so sick. But they were just really weird and just a little gruesome to look at. Now, I know that was probably what happened in the comics, but eh, this movie is rated 15, so I can accept it. And also, I felt like, really, the movie, there isn't that much action. Now, there's plenty of action given, but I feel like they could have expanded the action a little more. Other than that, guys, I thought that Deadpool was very entertaining and had a lot of good humor. Also, I love that post credit scene, which sets up Deadpool 2. Oh, you're expecting a teaser for Deadpool 2. Well, we don't have that kind of money. Guys, I'm going to give Deadpool a 7 out of 10. I shall see you guys next time, and maybe I will review Deadpool 2. Maybe when I see it sometime, I probably won't check it out now, and... Most likely not in cinemas, because I am mostly wor waiting for Jurassic World 2, Ant-Man 2, Incredibles 2 for this summer, and then after that, Sp Spider-Man and Wreck-It-Roll. So see you guys next time, and skadoosh.